Hey friends, happy weekend of love. But I mean, really, shouldn't every weekend be a weekend of love? I love y'all, and cause I love y'all, today I've got six awesome, easy, and also advanced sewing patterns for you to sink your chompers into. Give them all a kiss on this loving weekend. Let's go. I'm all decked out for the occasion. Got a few little glittery bangles from my favorite, the dollar stole, which by the way, is now the dollar 25 cent stole. Are they going to change all the signs on these stores? Probably not. First up, welcome to the new space. It's a space that's in flux. I'm in the middle of zhuzhing it and getting it ready for a bunch of sewing tutorials for you guys. But in prep for that, let's look at some sewing patterns. I've got indie patterns for you. I've got big four commercial patterns for you. I have even got a DIY at the end of the video. So let's get into number one. First on the hit list is the True Bias Ogden Cami. I love this little pattern and I love the lady behind this indie pattern company. Kelly Ward has been a friend of mine for years. We used to hang out as burgeoning sewists. Girl went and took some serious courses and girl went and became an indie pattern designer. Kelly, props to you and props to this pattern because whether you are an advanced, an intermediate, or a just starting out sewist, this pattern is gonna rock your world. It's an easy make, but it helps you to practice lots and lots of good techniques. Under stitching, stitching curves, clipping, notches and baby hems. You know I love a baby hem. This pattern has all of that for you. And you can get one of these little camis out of about a yard of fabric or less. So it is really a stash buster. We all about some stash busting. After I made my first Ogden cami, I was off to the races and I kind of stopped making it as drafted. I just started adding gathered panels and tiers to turn it into, oh, a tiered dress, a maxi dress, a midi dress. This pattern is infinitely hackable. Here's what the pattern looks like as drafted. I made this little sequin number for our series Refashion on Craftsy. What's great about this little pattern is if you want to use something like sequins, you want to use a tricky fabric, it's just a little itty bitty cami, right? So it's not going to really like give you too much grief to be working with sequins for that amount of time. And it's so kicky. Isn't it so kicky? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh my goodness. Who's that there? Yeah, that's Rob looking so, so hip, so faux furry. You're gonna need some bottoms to go with your little cami top, ain't ya? For that, we've got the Birkin Flares. These jeans were designed by Lauren Dahl. This is another indie pattern company. I don't believe she has very many patterns out there. She's been going back and forth between hustles, between, you know, majors, because aren't we all really majoring in life? And aren't we all kind of figuring out what we want our main course to be? And do we have to pick a main course? Can I be an actor and a singer and a dancer and a sewist and a teacher and a video editor and a set designer and a sound engineer? Apparently, I can. You know, it's up to you what degree of success you think I'm having at any of those things. But Lauren had a huge degree of success with these here jeans. Ooh, when I made these jeans, as you can tell, I felt like a super hero. I love these jeans. I don't fit this particular pair of jeans anymore, which means I need to get on making another pair. This is a PDF pattern, so you can click the link that I've got down below buy yourself a copy, tape it together, and get to cutting. And her instructions are very detailed, very good. Both patterns I've mentioned so far have delicious detailed instructions. So there's a lot of hand holding, but there's not too much hand holding where you feel like, I didn't need to know that when I wake up in the morning I should brush my teeth, sort of thing. The booty on these jeans is pretty delicious. I mean, I'm not saying my own booty is, is delicious, or am I? Am I loving myself and saying my booty 
is so delicious. Ah, yes. This is really going to level up your sewing if you decide to jump into this pattern. Once you insert a fly front zipper, forget it. You are going to be ready to conquer the world. You are gonna feel like there is nothing that you cannot do. And getting into really fine, precise top stitching, mm, that's really gonna make you feel like a million bucks as well. For this pattern, I suggest using something called a triple stretch stitch. I actually have a video on that and spoiler alert, the last pattern in this little video right here is gonna link you to it and it's gonna get you top stitching like a boss. Pattern number three is a commercial pattern, also known as a big four pattern, though I think now they, they might be more like the big five? I don't know. They're the commercial pattern companies, you know, that you could go to Madame Joanne's and pick up your Vogue, your Simplicity, your McCall's, your Butterick, your Quick Sew, your New Look. This particular pattern is a Vogue pattern. I love Vogue patterns. They normally go on sale for about five bucks a pop. They never drop down to the $1.99 Madame Joanne sale price because they're Vogue patterns. Don't you know? Smell us. We sew with Vogue patterns. And I'm creating a little outfit for you here, okay? So you've got your little camisole, mm-hmm. You've got your jeans. Now you need a topper. You need an elegant topper to go over that. And for that, I've chosen for you my very, oh, my very favorite Vogue jacket. Vogue 1493 by Kuz Van Draken. Did I say that right? Let me just check my notes here. Kuz van den Acker. Hey, I thought that sounded pretty good. Vogue 1493 by Kuz van den Acker. This jacket is actually supposed to hit at mid hip, but I just lengthened it because you know me, I like to have all the length and all the fabric. And yes, I did cut up a quilt to make this coat. I cut up a Kansa quilt and I adore this coat and I wear it all the time. It is going to play with your brain. You're really gonna have to think to make this pattern, but it's way simpler than people think it is. When you get this pattern envelope, you're gonna see a lot of pieces with crazy lines all over it and stitching guides and this and that because here's the pattern envelope. You don't need all of that extra. If you want to go ahead and stitch embellishments all over it, you absolutely can. But every time I make this jacket, I make it simple. I pay no attention to the extra stitching lines. I do pay attention to the notches and all of the markings. On this pattern, you have got to use all of your notches. Notches are your friend. Notches want to help you. Which brings me to another point. Sewing is only about 10% actual stitching. Sewing is about 90% getting your pattern prepped, getting your fabric prepped, placing your print carefully, cutting, pressing. It's only about 10% stitching. And the sleeve on this pattern, the origami of it, the geometry of it. Again, it's a pattern that's gonna make you feel like a superhero. I think that should be the title of this video. Patterns that make you feel like a superhero once you're done sewing them. I also used this same fabric, PS, to make a gown in the matching tie for Rob. Oh look, there's Rob again. Hi, babe. You know, speaking of sewing for others, you know, maybe your significant other on this very loving weekend, let's talk about Colette Patterns Negroni shirt. That, folks, is my papa. He's camera shy, you know, he's not gonna show his full face on screen, but he did give me photo approval for this photo about, um, I don't know, seven years ago, so I'm assuming it's okay to put up here on the channel. If not, sorry, Dad, I love you. This is a PDF pattern, again, and this is another indie pattern company. This comes in a wide range of sizes, and it's a great, easy sew. As most indie pattern companies do, they provide ample instructions so you're really going to understand what's going on with this pattern and you're going to get into buttonholes a tabbed collar turning collar points mm -hmm. and you're going to get into top stitching again i made my dad his first colette negroni shirt maybe about 10 years ago 
and he fell in love with this shirt and now it's the only shirt that I'm allowed to make for him. So, is this pattern one of my favorite men's shirts? Mmm, maybe not. Bird of Style has a great shirt that I'm gonna link below that I love making as a summer shirt. I love making it for Rob. I love making it for other people in my life who aren't my dad because my dad will only let me make him the Colette Negroni shirt. Okay, that's enough about the, the others in your life. Let's get back to you and me. Let's get back to us right here. I've given you an entire outfit in the front of this video. Now I'm gonna give you an all-in-one, a dress. Y'all, I don't know why people think dresses are so fancy and they can't be worn like all the time. A dress means you roll out of bed, you brush your teeth, you do your hearse, and you pull a dress off the hanger. Boom, outfit, done for the day. That's why I love Vogue 9253. This pattern was so popular when it came out that it's still in print. They've just changed the number on it. This dress is just romance. I almost always make the maxi length version because again, I'm all about draping myself in yardage. It has pockets, a wonderful high back, a very low neckline, and I am into a very low neckline because as you can see, there's not a lot of cleavage going on there. There's more of my happy valley going on there. And it has elegant little pleats at the waist and bust line, which means that if it comes up a little too small or a little too big, you can just take those pleats in ever so or let them out ever so and suddenly your dress has a little more room for breathing and eating and living and loving. Don't we need more room for all of those things in life? Yeah, yeah, we really do. I've made this dress many, many different ways. I've made it as a mini skirt. I've made it as a midi dress. I've made it as a maxi. I've made it as an open robe. I might actually do a video on how to make this dress into an open sort of floaty robe. It's really fun as an open robe. If you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comments and um, I'll show you how I do this quick and easy treatment to Vogue 9253 slash 1735. The actual correct number is right up there. Last but not least, number six is a patternless pattern. Number six is actually a video that I've got here for you right on the channel. DIY window pane denim jacket. Doesn't require a pattern, doesn't even really require sewing if you don't wanna sew, but I recommend the sewing. I recommend that you do a little stitching with me. You are gonna love it. I've made many, 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 many of these jackets for friends and family, for myself, because it's so much fun to make. Again, you feel like a superhero when you're going through this jacket and you make it and suddenly, the exoskeleton is revealed. This video is also where I teach you how to top stitch denim without headache because I'm all about teaching y'all how to stitch without headache. So again, I'm gonna link that video below if you wanna get into some sewing that without having to tape a PDF pattern together or get over to Madame Joanne's and purchase some of the patterns that I've recommended today. Hi. Oh, hi. How you doing? Hi. Um, wait, wait, wait. You want to talk to the friends? Oh, yeah. Um, Let's get you mic'd up. I think perhaps there might be a pattern that you forgot. Well, I forgot a pattern on this loving weekend, this weekend of love, of making, making wonderful things for each other, making love. What did I forget? Oh, that pattern. What year is this, by the way? Who knows? Exactly. 2022? <laughs> We're gonna see how many years it takes for me to get this. Are you sure it took you that long to get it? Maybe somebody has already went ahead and made you a muslin. Well, I stand corrected. A twall as it is. A twall? I'm stunned, A, and excited, B. Oh, that's a wonderful thing to be on this loving weekend, <laughs> isn't it? Stunned yeah. and excited. Stunned and excited. Now you're gonna have to go and uh, get naked for me. Oh, okay, okay, I'll go, I'll go, okay. <laughs> You're not gonna see that part because it's, it's not that kind of channel. Peace out, everybody. Uh, emphasis on... Getting naked. 
and also peace. Leave me some comments if there's any patterns you wanna see made here on the channel. That's all I got. I gotta eat something. That's not what she said. Bye. <laughs>